There are a lot of different types of difficult clients. Um, for me, I work a lot with business people who work for a company or um, people who are in-house lawyers at a company. And then I also have internal clients, um, such as partners that I work with. So over communication is a tool that I've found to really handle people who want consistent updates or who really just don't have a great understanding of what type of legal services you provide or what my job is. I like to be proactive about providing people updates via email, via phone, whatever I find works best for them. Sometimes you'll have difficult clients that are checking in with you every day looking for an update. And as we know, as legal practitioners, things don't get done in a day. A lot of times you're waiting on the other side to review a document or you're waiting for feedback on something. And Helping a client understand that, over communicating the process to them right off the bat is super helpful for managing their expectations in that regard. But then also being proactive about giving email updates, you know, shoot an email to the client in the morning, just waiting for the other side to finish reviewing this document, or just to let you know this is still with the other side. Just to let them know that you're cognizant of their matter, it's on your radar, you haven't forgotten about it or, or left them out in the cold. The main way that I manage expectations for myself is making sure that I set very clear deadlines for myself personally, for uh, my client's sake, to make sure that, that I understand what I can, get, I can get done and what I can't get done. And so what I don't want to do is set myself up for failure by letting my client think that I can get something to them quicker than I really can. So even if I can't get a deliverable to a client within the next 24 hours, if it's something that might take a little bit more research or a little bit more time, I like to have that buffer zone there to make sure that I can get it to, get it to them in an adequate amount of time frame. In terms of managing expectations for my clients, one of the things that I've done is make sure that I set very clear deliverables for communications and for actual deliverables within our, the engagement letter I give my clients, at least when I was in private practice. Um, and in doing so, it made it a lot easier for my clients to understand when I would be communicating with them because they wouldn't, they wouldn't just ping me incessantly in between <laughs> these timetables because they knew an update was coming. And so it made it a lot easier for me to have those communications with my clients. Setting those expectations kind of sets the boundaries and sets the landscape for your entire client relationship. Um, and if you get those things managed early, it makes it a lot easier to deal with those difficulties down the line um, you know, versus addressing them as they come up right? Because your client knows what to expect. One of the things that I learned very quickly in my role um, with the department was that I needed to make sure that I documented my legal advice either via email, um, in memos, briefs, etc., to not only protect myself um, as a lawyer, but also to protect the department and make sure that the department knew the legal risks um, that were in place when certain decisions were made. If something occurs um, that was against the legal advice that you initially gave, at least you can go back to the initial legal advice in your email or in your case file and present you know, the initial legal risks and that you um, attempted to effectively represent your client in that way. Um, as now the client myself, um, it's helpful because now I know what the legal risks are before making certain decisions. Sometimes you'll get something from a client that they want done in an hour. And given that we know our own workload and our own legal practice, that's not typically a reasonable turnaround time. So for me, I communicate immediately back to the client and I'll tell them exactly the steps that are required for me to complete the legal work that they've asked for. So that might be if I'm negotiating a lease, I'll need to review the term sheet for the lease. I'll need to review the draft document in full and make revisions. And then I'll also need to draft some provisions special for the client because they're not just something I can dupe from a prior document. So I find that explaining that to the client over email, over phone, is really helpful for having the client understand what exactly my legal services entail. Um, and then I always end with an introduction of a more reasonable time frame. So I'll say, you, know, you asked for this in an hour, but given that I have to do X, Y, and Z to get there, is it a little more reasonable for maybe me to provide this to you tomorrow afternoon? And typically I find that clients are agreeable to that. You know, they'll shoot out a deadline of an hour because to them, they might not understand what exactly you have to do to finish your legal services for them. Uh, and once they have a better understanding, they're, they're agreeable to a more reasonable timeline.